everyone, and welcome to the 17th Annual 21st Century Scholar Celebration. I remember the first ceremony, and I never dreamed it would grow in this way. The 21st Century Scholar Society was established to honor and reward some of our top returning students. 200 students have now benefited from your commitment to higher education. And what a beautiful gift to give to future generations. I am Tracy Morris. I am the new president of IBCC, and I could not be happier to be here with you this evening. One thing I would like to say, a few thank yous before we get started. Um, thank you, Josh and Cecile Becker. Chocolate is fabulous. Always a wonderful <laughs> gift. <laughs> So thank you so much for 
joining us. We hope you enjoy your evening. And now Foundation President Dr. Sue Schmidt will introduce the 21st Century Scholar Society members in attendance. Well, thank you, Dr. Morris. <laughs> and I, too, welcome you to the 17th Annual 21st Century Scholar Society Dinner. It's really nice to see everybody. Most of you probably recognize me by now because you've been here for years. So, but I'm Sue Schmidt, Foundation Board President and a 21st Century Charter member. Together, we're building an endowment that each year has a significant impact on our students. First, I too would like to welcome our new Executive Director, Tracy Beatty, which you've already had stand up. She started in October. She's been very busy ever since. Joining her tonight is her husband, Mike, and their friends, Robert Hasey, Mayor of Ottawa, and the Ottawa City Commissioner, Wayne Eichelbrock. Both are IBCC alum. We're glad you could join us tonight. Also, <laughs> now if when I say your name, y'all want to like, you know, raise your hand or jump around or <laughs> make known where you are, that's okay, because otherwise it's just you're one of those people out there. Okay, I'd like to welcome our newest members to the society. Since last year's dinner, six donors have joined this meaningful program. And they are Vicki Henson of Ottawa. She joined in memory of her husband, Donald. Peru.
Ron Rolo and his wife, Kim. <laughs> Vice President for Student Services, Mark Krzybowski and his wife, Liz. <laughs> Director of Learning Resources, Dr. Patrice Hess. Isabella Lambert, 
Eric Lockwood, and Earl Pantique. And now for our 21st Century Scholar finalists. Our first finalist this evening is Andrew Knipper. He is the son of John and Tara Knipper. After living in Plainfield, um, his family moved to Princeton when he was only in the third grade in order to be closer to family. However, recently Andrew's parents moved to Georgia, so Andrew is actually here tonight with his grandma and grandpa who drove all the way from Iowa to be here. So let's give them a round. <laughs> Best grandparents ever. Um, growing up, Andrew and his family traveled to 11 different countries together. He was only two years old when he took, took his first international trip to Germany and France. Out of all the countries he visited, Switzerland was his favorite. Andrew attended Princeton High School and was involved in choir, German club, Interact club, National Honor Society, and Student Council. He was also class officer and secretary for two of those years. And he participated in Scholastic Bowl, where he was the captain for two years, and MVP his sophomore year. At IBCC, he is working on an Associates of Arts in Foreign Language with a major in Spanish. Andrew is involved in the Student Ambassador Group and volunteers one day a week at the front desk through this program. He participates in the Student Success Committee and is a member of Phi Beta Kappa and Sigma Kappa Delta. Andrew is also a member of the College Republicans Group and gets set where he is now a mentor. He is also VP of the Student Government Association. Andrew gives back to his community as often as he can. He completed 100 service hours at Princeton Closet during COVID, and he was able to help raise over $200,000 for this organization. I think he's coming for my job. <laughs> Andrew credits his parents for his success thus far. They have taught him responsibility, hard work, and eagerness to learn. They have always been there with a listening ear and a helping hand. Another mentor since eighth grade has been youth pastor Justin Bullington. He is from Princeton Bible Church. Andrew expressed that Justin has always been there for him with words of encouragement, believed in him, and gave him the confidence to reach higher goals. After graduation, Andrew plans on attending Liberty University to pursue a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish. He would also like to continue at Liberty University at the, the law school. And he's actually consider, considering becoming an international law attorney. So hopefully that means my job is safe. <laughs> Please welcome our 21st century finalist, Andrew Knipper. Good evening, everyone. I am incredibly honored to stand before you as one of the finalists for this esteemed scholarship. As we are all eager to learn who the award winner is, it is necessary to acknowledge the individuals who made this opportunity possible. Firstly, I want to extend my deepest gratitude to each donor and IBCC Foundation committee member for believing in the potential of me and the other finalists. When I received news of being selected as a finalist, I was extremely surprised and happy. This scholarship could mean more than just financial support. It had, has the potential to impact my future by allowing me to focus on my studies, engage in meaningful experiences, and contribute positively to society. Reflecting on my journey, I recall the countless nights of studying, the challenges faced, and the moments of doubt overcome. Yet these challenges have been integral in shaping my character and determination to pursue my goals and dreams. Recently, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. On top of this, my sister has been struggling with chronic illness and my family moved from Princeton to Georgia last May. Being away from them during these trying times has not been easy. However, my faith in Christ has made me strong. I want to give recognition to God for walking me through 
hardship, and helping me become the person I am today. I place my hope in his sacrifice on the cross. I credit him for all my successes and accomplishments. I also want to recognize individuals who have impacted my life. I cannot express my gratitude to my parents. Without their guidance, support, and example, I would not be here today. Both of my grandparents have also been here when I needed them. I want to give my father's parents a special thank you. They are here with us tonight, all the way from Iowa, since my parents couldn't be here, as Tracy said. Um, they are here when I need them, and uh, I just thank you to them. Um, I also want to give a special thanks to my mother's parents, who generously fed me, did my laundry, and kept me company when my parents moved out. <laughs> I want to thank Justin Bullington, my mentor. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I also want to recognize individuals who have impacted my life. I cannot express. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm reading the same thing that I just read. <laughs> Sorry, I am a little nervous if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, I want to thank Justin Bullington, my mentor and friend. Not only has he discipled me as a Christian, but he has been one of my closest friends when I needed him the most. Finally, I want to thank IVCC staff. Everyone from Nan at the information desk, to Corey, the student government leader, to Crystal Creedy and President Tracy, I, Tracy Morris. I thank you for your dedication and hard work toward the students you serve. Most importantly, a special thanks to Tina Hardy and Azaret Lovell. Azaret is the reason I applied for this scholarship. I thank her for convincing me to apply, and I thank Tina for preparing me for college and introducing me to Azaret. Without the two of them, I would not be standing before you tonight. In closing, I want to reiterate my heartfelt gratitude for this nomination. I am immensely grateful to the doors this scholarship could open and the difference it can make in my academic journey. Thank you for believing in me and providing a future for many students. Very good job, Andrew. Our next finalist is Logan Brandner son of Dave and Dorothy Brandner. Logan was raised in Mendota with his parents and three older siblings. As a child, he enjoyed playing outdoors, playing board games, spending time with cousins, and taking a vacation with his family every year. In high school, Logan was a member of the National Honor Society, volunteered as a tutor for sixth graders, participated in the Interact Club, and volunteered for PADS, Mendota Park District, and Nightingale's Closet. Logan also participated in tennis team, golf team, basketball, band, and a local curling club. At IBCC, Logan is working towards an associate in science. He is also working at Chipotle while attending school full time. At IBCC, he is involved in math club, tennis team, and participates in many chemistry club activities. Logan loves the personal aspect of IBCC. He states that the professors know you by name and they are willing to help you individually, which has been a tremendous benefit to him. Family has been Logan's source of inspiration. His mother taught him the fundamental life lessons that have led him to his success. His dad and siblings have played an important role as well by helping him to strive for excellence, by setting high standards, and helping schoolwork, of course. Logan hopes to attend the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, where he will be joining his brother and sister who also attend. He plans to major in biomedical engineering with a minor in business. His ultimate goal is to be an entrepreneurial engineer who develops innovative biomedical solutions to help others. That is a mouthful. He would like to someday open his own biomedical company with his two brothers, who are also studying biomedical engineering. Please welcome 21st Century Finalist, Logan Brandner. Hi, I'd like to start off by thanking 21st Century Scholar Society donors. It is truly an honor to be standing up here today. I greatly appreciate the scholarship and helping me pursue my dream of becoming a biomedical engineer. I would like 
to thank my family, especially my parents, David Dorothy Brander, for serving as an inspiration and teaching me valuable life lessons that made me who I am today. They're so supportive, I don't know where I'd be without them. There are also many people that I've met through IBCC that have greatly affected me. One of them being my tennis coach, Julie Malona. She was one of the reasons why I decided to go to IBCC. She had, if she hadn't reached out to me and offered me a position on the tennis team, I probably wouldn't have chosen to go to IBCC. But I'm glad I did because I made so many memories and friendships along the way. I would also like to thank all the teachers that I had at IBCC for providing such a comfortable and open learning environment. There's not been a single teacher that wasn't going to help me when I was struggling in their class or trying to catch up on school. I also want to thank all the professional and student, and student tutors at the Academic Learning Center who were so friendly and welcoming who provided me with resources that helped me get through tough classes. I would just like to say thank you to everyone who has supported me through all of my success and failure. Thank you. Our next finalist is Caleb Savage, son of David and Bernadette Savage. Caleb grew up in Spring Valley with his mom and dad and an older brother and sister. He loved riding bikes around with friends, playing video games, and playing sports. His sister calls him an old soul, and I absolutely have to agree. He is a mature young man with a passion for older music. In fact, his welding helmet, he showed me, is filled with stickers of old rock bands from, you know, back in my day, so we bonded immediately. In high school, he was a very busy kid and was involved in football, wrestling, track, and was team captain for all three. He also played golf during COVID when football was canceled, and he was a class representative for student council. Kayla is currently studying welding construction technology at IBCC. He's been very successful in the program and even received second overall and first in the SMAW category at a welding competition. At first he considered pipe fitting, but one day received an email from a school in Seattle that changed his direction. The school sent him information on commercial diving underwater welding. He later discovered the Ocean Corporation Diving School in Houston, Texas. He visited the school with his dad and he was sold. Caleb will be leaving to attend the school after Christmas and he will train there for seven months. Caleb stays very busy working, volunteering as a pole vaulting coach at Alt Hall High School, volunteering at a food pantry, shoveling snow for the elderly, and raising money for the Polar Plunge. He also works for the welding department here at IVCC. Caleb has been fortunate to have many positive influences in his life. When his aunt passed away from breast cancer at 39, his teacher, Ms. Kate Lawrence, a Spanish teacher at Hall High School, was there for him and showed him such compassion and kindness and always cheered him up. He will always be thankful for her. He also appreciates all that his football coach did over the years. After multiple injuries that made it difficult to stay upbeat, coach was always positive, which helped him immensely. And of course, his parents, have always been there for him, and he appreciates all they have done. Please welcome 21st century finalist, Caleb Satch. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Um, I would like to start by thanking the IDCC Foundation and uh, 21st Century for making this amazing night possible. Obviously, none of us would be here without them. Um, next, I'd like to thank all my teachers, coaches, and instructors that I've had throughout my years as a student and an athlete. Um, I've had the privilege to have some very good teachers in high school and college. I'd like to start uh, with uh, my welding instructor, uh, Teresa Mullen, who isn't here tonight, but I'd still like to thank her. Um, from the start, she was very kind to me. Last year around this time, I underwent uh, my second uh, shoulder surgery my left shoulder. Um, I was still in many welding classes at the time, uh, but I didn't want to miss class. So thankfully she allowed me to stay for classes that I wasn't even a part of to make up the time in advance. Um, 
I worked through three eight-week classes in four weeks and was able to do well on all of them thanks to Teresa. So thank you. Um, next, I would like to thank uh, another welding instructor, Tony Sondergroth, who's uh, no longer at IECC, unfortunately, uh, but I've still stayed in con contact with them. Um, over the summer, we ran into each other at the golf course that I also work at, and um, I stopped working, he stopped golfing. Uh, we're sitting there in the middle of the fairway. Um, we had a 15 minute conversation, I got very emotional. And uh, he told me something that I'll never forget. Um, he said with tears in his eyes, you're one of the reasons that I love teaching. And I'll never, uh, I never knew that I could have that type of impact on someone. And I know for sure that I'll never forget that moment. Thanks, Tony. Uh, I would also like to thank my uh, my girlfriend Jaden for being here tonight. She means a lot to me and always has been there for me and my deepest regrets. Um, thank you, Jaden. Mom, Dad, thank you so much. Um, my parents have been there for me every step of the way. They worked their butts off to get my siblings and I to college, and for the past two years, all three of us have been uh, in college at the same time, and I know it takes its toll. Um, with the IBCC Foundation and now 21st Century, I've been able to help my parents, and I'm forever grateful for them. Thank you, Mom, Dad, I love you. Okay, our next finalist, our last finalist, is Lily Boyles, daughter of Dennis and Gina Boyles. Libby grew up in Hawaii and moved to Princeton in third grade. She has two older brothers and spent her childhood following them around and playing sports with them. But as you can see, Libby was an all time boy. In addition to sports, she was a dancer and loved Hannah Montana. Libby attended Princeton High School and was on the volleyball, softball, and dance team. She also participated in yearbook club, book club, and was the class treasurer. She is currently studying finance at IBCC and plays for the volleyball and softball teams. She is also involved in student government, is a student ambassador, and participates in Rotaract Club, Economics Club, and is the treasurer for Sigma Kappa Delta. As a student trustee, Libby attends board meetings, has her picture on the board room wall, and writes columns for the Ivy Leader, which is the IBCC newspaper. But it doesn't end there. She also finds time to work part-time at Simply Nutrition and Wild Honey Boutique in Princeton, and babysits on occasion, and she is the head coach of a seventh grade volleyball team and an assistant coach of a fifth grade team. Libby says that her parents have been her biggest supporters in all aspects of her life, but especially in academics. Her mom is her role model and an inspiration. Her mom finished nursing school at IBCC with three small children at home. Her older brother, who served in the Air National Guard, is also someone she admires greatly. After graduation, Libby plans to attend Illinois State University and major in finance. She would like to become a traveling accountant for a large company or a bank accountant here in the Illinois Valley, eventually landing a finance position after graduating or after, after gaining work experience. She would also like to take on a volleyball head coaching position here locally. Please welcome 21st century finalist, Libby Boyles. Grateful for. 
they always have my back even when I'm irresponsible and go to lunch instead of sometimes filling up my gas tank to go to school. <laughs> I would also like to thank my two older brothers for always picking on me when I was little because in the end it made me a very strong little woman even though I'm not quite sure that's what their goal was. <laughs> I would also like to thank the class sponsors of the class of 2022 at Princeton High School, Michael Fredericks and Patrick Smith for showing me great leadership. They inspired me from <coughs> they inspired me with their great leadership roles and led me to run in the elections for student government at IBCC, winning a position first for freshman programming board and now a student trustee. Some of you may remember me from the investor where I was also crying. <laughs> I wouldn't have ever thought to be involved in something like student government if it wasn't for them. Lastly, I would like to thank the IBCC Foundation Scholarship and any donors from the 21st Century Scholar Society for, for, for allowing students like me to get out of their first two years of college completely debt free with the help of scholarship aids. I would like to thank everyone of my coaches from Little League to club travel, softball, high school, and now college for pushing me to be my best and giving me the opportunity to play for two sports in college, both on scholarship. I've gotten out of my first two years of school completely debt-free. I'm going to ISU, and it's one of my greatest accomplishments. I have not paid a penny. My parents are forever grateful for it. <laughs> These kids are remarkable. Uh, what a great way to start my new job. I just dove right into you know, interviewing the students. I've only been here about a month. And, you know, I was thinking, you know, I came from Easter schools. It's a very, you know, heartfelt kids. And I thought, well, it's not going to be that emotional here. You know, college and I'm telling you, I haven't stopped crying since I started. <laughs> These kids are remarkable. Um, so now we're going to announce our 21st century scholar for 2023. Uh, but first, I would like all of our finalists to come to the front. And now, our 21st Century Scholar for 2023 is Andrew Knipper. I just want to thank everyone for being here tonight. And... Um, all the, the people who donate to this this scholarship and um, I just have another round of applause for all of you guys because you guys are the ones who made this possible. Alright, so thank you everyone. Please feel free to stop by and say hello to our students. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you and all you do. You've heard the stories, you know the impact you made, so congratulations to you. Have a good night.